students, welcome to our third quarter module 1. The title is Distance and Displacement. Let's go! Distance. It tells how far an object travels. Does not depend on direction. Imagine an ant crawling along a ruler. What distance did the ant travel? Very good. 3 centimeters. Distance does not depend on direction. Here's our intrepid ant explorer again. Now, what distance did the ant travel? The answer is 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3. Distance does not depend on direction. Let's follow the ant again. What distance did the ant walk this time? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 centimeters. Let's see if our answer is correct. Correct. The distance of the ant is 7 centimeters. Displacement is the difference between an object's final position and its starting position. Does depend on direction. In order to define displacement, we need directions. Examples of directions that we can use are positive and negative, north, south, east, west, going to school, going to supermarket. Example of distance. The ant walked 3 centimeters. Example of displacement. The ant walked 3 centimeters east. Notice that the displacement has a direction. An object's distance traveled and its displacement are not always the same. Let's revisit our ant and this time we'll find his displacement. The distance is 3 centimeters. The displacement is positive 3 centimeters. We have here the legend for the direction. This is negative, backward, and positive, forward. The positive gives the ant a direction. Find the ant's displacement again. Remember, displacement has direction. The distance is 3 centimeters. And the displacement is negative 3 centimeters. Look at the arrow. Look at the legend for the direction. Negative. Find the distance and displacement of the ant. The distance is 7 centimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 centimeters. The displacement is negative 3 centimeters. Why? Because you are just going to count or measure the starting point and the end point, which is 0, and the end point is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. And look at the direction of the ant. So, let's follow the legend, which is negative. That's why the answer is negative 3 centimeters. Displacement versus distance. Bonus question. An athlete runs around a track that is 100 meters long three times, then stops. All you have to do is to identify the distance and then the displacement. Send your answer via messenger to your science teacher. What is the athlete's distance and displacement?
distance, displacement, y. Distance and displacement are similar but different. Distance is a scalar quantity which refers to the amount of ground an object has covered during its motion. Displacement is a vector quantity which refers to the overall change in position of the object from start to finish. You can think of it as the distance, the shortest distance that the crow flies. Another example, the car covered a distance of 25 kilometers in a displacement of 10 kilometers east. So this one is town A going to town B, the distance is 25 kilometers. You are going to measure everything. So that's why it is 25 kilometers. Distance, no direction. And when we say displacement, you're going to measure the starting point, which is the town A, and the end point or the finish line, which is the town B. And the displacement is 10 kilometers, the shortest distance. And remember that when we are talking about displacement, there is a direction. So using the compass, town B is located on east. That's why the answer is 10 kilometers east. Okay, pa? Another, team covered a distance of 3 meters plus 4 meters. The answer is 7 meters. Look at this one. So this is the distance. 4 meters and then 3 meters. So 4 plus 3 is 7 meters. And the displacement which is the starting point of Kim and the end point, which is the school, the shortest distance, point to point, is 5 meters. Do not forget that displacement has direction. That's why the answer is 5 meters northeast. So, you're going to use the compass here. The legend here. Okay, pa? Next. So, again, 4 plus 3, 7 meters. You're going to measure everything, okay? The total path travel, that is your distance. 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4. And then, the displacement is 5 meters. Starting point to the end point with direction, okay? Another, a physics student walks 4 meters, 2 meters south, 4 meters west, and finally, 2 meters north. So, you're going to add everything. So, you're going to add 4 meters. Nalakaran niya yan. 2 meters, 4 meters, and 2 meters. So, 4 plus 2, 6, plus 4, 10, plus 2, 12 meters. And the displacement is 0. Why? Because the end point is same with the starting point. So, kung saan siya nagsimula, Doon din siya bumalik, doon siya natapos. That's why the answer is zero. Remember, displacement, starting point, and end point. Kaya siya naging zero. Okay? Kaya naging zero yung sagot. Magiging zero yung sagot kung ang starting point ay pareho sa end point. Please remember that. So, we're done. Do you have any questions about distance and displacement? If you have any questions or any opinions about it, you can ask your science teacher via messenger, okay? Or do not forget to comment here if you have any questions. So, I'll see you on the next module. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!